Hello, everyone. I come back from the shadows after a very long disappearance. There was school and stuff that is the reason why I didn't upload, but it was an entire year that I didn't upload. So, I'm not going to halt anymore. I'm back. Welcome. And Bloons TD6. Let's do this. So, today I am planning on doing, let's grab this first. Today I'm planning on doing a um, <clears throat> medium level run, you know, nothing bad. Nothing too long, just a normal medium run that there isn't nothing to really say about it. I think I'm going to overwrite my uh okay. What map should I do? Yeah, why don't we try the new map? Try the new map. Okay. I'm going to start off with a druid. One thing I love about the druid is that um, it, ha it throws more things than a triple dart monkey, and then it proceeds to become more powerful than a dart monkey. And it's... A little bit more expensive by a lot, by about 200, but it still is much more powerful and much more of an end game thing if you get it early on, which I like to go down the middle path here for Spirit of the Forest. Which you'll see later is very powerful. And now we're going to put it on double speed so we get this going quicker. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down Benjamin. Benjamin's my hero, and you're going to see what he's going to do. For people who have watched or seen this game before, you'll probably know that Benjamin's like one of the most used heroes. Because of uh, Benjamin, I'm going to give him a little rundown for those who don't watch that, which is probably most of my viewers. Benjamin makes you more money per balloon, and he has some power-ups to help, like, make it so that there's less balloons. Which really just makes it easier, because you get more money and you get less balloons, and that's about basically all you can ask for in this game. Other than more powerful towers. I normally go middle path and then side top path. So I'll get three into middle path and then I'll two top path. But I think, yeah, I'm going to take bottom path this time. Now, if you can tell from the comparison of this recording and my last recordings, my mic sounds better. I got a uh, new mic so that, well, I got one specifically for gaming, but then I realized it's probably a good idea to use this for my YouTube channel. So, here I am with my new microphone. There is another goal I have in this video, and that is to see if I can even get this guy fully upgraded, because I need to get Benjamin still. I have, um, 
yeah, I'm gonna say this now. I have some videos planned out, but I wanted to ask you all if there's any ga games you'd like me to play since I'm experimenting with seeing if I can play Xbox games right now, which I'm definitely looking further into that. So, if you have any game ideas, drop them in the comments. It would be very nice to hear your ideas as I play Bloons TD6. This is probably going to be one of my main games that I'll play for a while because I love Bloons TD6 and the content on it is pretty simple to make and easier to make. So really, it just helps me actually get the content done and edited. But if, like I said, if y'all want any other games or anything, I will be glad to check them out. Okay, we can get Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> Got Benjamin. Oh, I should have placed them up there. Okay, now I can start upgrading everything. But you'll soon start to see why I picked the druid. Once I get enough money, which I'm going to actually put it on double speed now, because apparently I didn't have it on double speed. You'll see that sniper's gonna be really useful. Any balloons that this guy, the druid, doesn't pick off, that sniper's gonna be getting them. Which I think I'm gonna put a boomerang monkey here. Too, for extra support. Okay, so I think... No, I don't have any monkeys that can spot camo, so I'm going to get a ninja monkey here at the front. I'm going to give him counter espionage and make him see camos. Camo balloons, only certain monkeys can see them, but some monkeys can um, strip them of their camo so that they... So that the other monkeys can see them and hit them. Which is what this uh, ninja monkey is for. <laughs> so that you don't have to worry about the camos too much. But there are still going to be some camos I worry about. Which is why that guy exists. What he does is he lays um, spikes down at the end of the tr at the end of a track, and any balloons that get past all of my defenses run straight into that bunch of bunch of spikes. Now there is a couple things that I noticed about this map, which is really cool. I think it's like making honey or something. I. Some sort of juice. I don't know what this factory is for, but you know, whatever, whatever it is for. It's a pretty cool map. But what I don't understand is what it is actually like making juice from, and it looks to be some sort of energy, but I'm not gonna investigate too deeply into that. If, um, oh yeah, please do like and subscribe if you are liking my content. I make this stuff because there's two reasons. Because I can, and because I want to entertain you. So, if you are liking my content, please support it. It would help me a lot, out a lot, and if you are enjoying it, 
it'll help you by encouraging me to make more content. <clears throat> There is going to be, um, a series that I'm making soon, and I'm not, like, teasing too much, because it, is, it isn't going to be that big of a hype. It's a game, obviously, that I'm going to be making a series on. It's just a, uh, stick, stick man game that I found, but I think it'll be very interesting for you all. I've played it quite a few times before, but I haven't played the other game of it a few times. I've, I haven't played it at all. <laughs> so, I'm looking forward to being able to have that first experience. And to be able to share it with you all. Which you can hear. I think I'm going to turn down my uh, sound here. Yeah. 51 will do. Okay, I'm making a lot of money, which you can see now here. Now he sends out a balloon Trojan. Every few seconds, he'll send out a... Uh, virus to a random balloon which will give me money whenever it gets popped which also which you can see he sends the tri trojan and then a little seven dollars pops up which that is one of the main reasons why benjamin is so useful even though i'm on round fifty he is still very useful <clears throat> you can't see the spikes, but my spike trap is laying down all the spikes in one pile, which I think it helps with game lag. I'm not completely sure, though. Because it doesn't have to, like, load all of them in until something is about to run into them. I think it's I think it might be a texture thing cuz it only has to load a few textures. I don't know though. Okay, then I'm gonna I might have to do a little bit of free play in order to get uh Spirit of the Forest, but that is still not going to take too long. So I might go past the expected length of today's video just to show you guys this. I've been playing this game for quite a while, and if I have to say there is any Tier 5s that I like more than <clears throat> the Spirit of the Forest, it probably has to be the Ray of Doom. Which, how weird that is for the people who know this game. The Ray of Doom, which I don't have on this account, sadly. But I am working on that. Basically, it's like a beam, but very large, and it does way too much damage for its own good. And I love it, and it has saved me so many playthroughs. Actually, I might... Uh oh uh oh uh oh Worry mode, worry mode. Okay, worry mode, worry mode is no longer worrying. We heard you, Benjamin. It's just a BOMG, I think. Is it a BOMG? What's that? I know it's not a Moab. I think it's BOMG. I did it! As you can see, my monkey star, which is the monkey that did the most damage, well, it was my, uh... 
a druid. So, he's very nice. But I'm going to do a little bit of free play just to get the monkey I was trying to get. And I'm going to place down a marketplace so I can get this done quicker. Okay. Uh... I think I might have to go to round 100 on this video. So, be prepared. Sit tight, because it's going to be a little while. Okay. What else? What else? Oh, yeah, says Benjamin. I agree with Benjamin for once. You hear that? All them pops? All of those in continuous that was continuous was probably because of this guy <clears throat> the druid whenever he places down one of his grapple thingies of vines they stay there on the track for a second which does a lot of extra damage Whoa. Glaive, Glaive Monkey is doing absolute massive amounts of damage. If y'all saw that, Glaive Monkey is definitely carrying. Okay, now that, now that I say that, you can hear the turret pops. Just sounds like a turret's going off. He also has all map range, so like no matter where the uh Oh hey. Oh hey, that's cool. I can get that. Perfect. <clears throat> that thing just does ridiculous amounts of damage. Like, ridiculous to a whole new way. So, I think... Yep, I can get him. Nope, I can't. I got 4,000 more. Then I show you what the Spirit of the Forest does. Which is where I think I'm going to wrap up this video. You know what? Yeah, let's go to round 100. We're going around 100, and I can now get Spirit of the Forest. As you can see, he places vines all around the track, which is devastating. Especially to Moabs and um, ceramic balloons because while they're just dragging across they're getting constant damage and by constant that doesn't mean like it's a tick that's just a beam of damage which it is a smaller amount of damage but it's still devastating especially around the blue area where the spikes are much more powerful So now that we have that guy, I can waste money on stuff I want. <laughs> like to get this guy higher up, this guy better higher up. I'm going to level him up the first, though. I 
I think, yeah, this is about all I'm going to be using for my defense. <clears throat> but next video that I'm planning on this, I think I'm going to be doing a challenge on myself to beat a hard mode and then go to level and then go to round 100. So harder than this, but I, it, it'll be on my path to black border and cubism, which if you play this game, you'll know what that means. Round 80, there is a very, very large balloon that is off screen. It is surprisingly large. You can't see it, though, because I have so many mass amounts of damage that you will barely see its nose before it explodes. One of these videos, I'm just going to go till, I, till either my phone can't handle this or I'm going to die. In-game, obviously. But, like, there is a little problem with that is I'm, I'm playing on a phone. So I'd go to, like, round 132, and then I'd lag like crap. So I wouldn't be able to really go that far, which is sad. So... Who knows, maybe I would get further, but... <laughs> Who knows, maybe I would get further. And then Benjamin laughs at me. Really, Benjamin? You're mean. You can see Benjamin got a few upgrades. Oh, I'll upgrade him manually. So now I have three tier fives. I have the Glaive Lord, I have the Spirit of the Forest, and I have the Cripple Moab. Which, I don't think I explained Cripple Moab. Basically what it does is these big blimp type balloons that you're seeing. Which now you'll see that level 80 balloon that I was talking about. Z-O-M-G is what it's called. This guy, what he does is he will, um, whenever he shoots, he basically stuns the Moabs, and he does a lot of damage to them, which is really helpful until you get to, like, the really high round, round 100, which is, uh, where you just so happen to get... Um, a go against a Moab that that guy can't stun, so he basically becomes useless in a sense. Until you pop that big one, then it comes out into little smaller ones. Which then he is useful. Hey, my engineer has an upgrade. Perfect. Now, there ain't much I can throw my money on now. So, I'm just going to save up until I get that. <clears throat> this, the Monkey Wall Street, um, produces lives. So... However many lives I need, it'll give. But I already have a spike factory back here, so... I, sh I shouldn't need lives. Most of the time I die on round 95, which you saw those little, uh... What are they called? I don't know what they're called, I don't remember. But the little, like... <clears throat> Really quickly version, really quick versions of the uh, blue Moabs you see now. That were camo and steel. 
Most of the time I die to them because, like, I don't have the right defenses for them. But this time I didn't, which is good. It was very good. Round 99 is up next. We're here, round 99. As you can see, those little quick, <laughs> those little quick guys really just get to you. Anyway, wow, me too. All right, that's completely gone. I know what I need. I need something that's really high damaging that I can get quick. Crap, I don't have that. Ugh. This is sad. This dude doesn't have camo. So how about... I make two of them. And I give them camo. And then I give this guy the same thing. And then... I get this guy and give him that. Come on. Round 99, give it to me. Yeah! There we go. And now we are on the B-A-D, the bad. Now, this guy, as you can see, the little red X's means that he can't be stunned. But this round's easier than round level 99, so... And I got an Insta Monkey. Great. So, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna stop. Thank you all for watching. Means a lot to me. And if you want any more of this or any more other games, please do tell me in the comments. And I will see you all later.